Hello kindred spirits and new visitors. Welcome to my home and my YouTube channel. I thought I would catch you up to speed on this project I have been putting off for quite a long time. If you remember my ADHD video on things I've been procrastinating on, putting up this trim was certainly one of them. And I finally, over the course of a few months, just kept going at this project, kind of like eating an elephant a bite at a time. And I'm so pleased to say that it is 90% done, and I'll explain what that means in a while. Now I'm measuring for the two doorways on the living room side, and then also the two doorways on the hall side. I kidnapped my husband, and we went off to Home Depot, had the trim cut, and put this in the back of his truck, and, and now I have no more excuses. Now in order for my trim to go all the way to the floor, I did have to pull back this molding and cut some off, and I'm okay with that. I'm going to be replacing this molding down the road to a taller profile that used to be there. Um, I found nothing in here, but I look and I like to see what kind of architectural features I might find. I found nothing. And when your nail gun doesn't work, make sure the battery's in it. That's very, very important. Now I didn't like how the trim wrapped around the inside of the door frame so I took the trim off and unfortunately there is a small gap and on the other doorway the gap is very large. I can see that they already had replaced some and I didn't show you what it looked like afterwards. I'm going to have to put in another oak strip or maybe some filler and do a faux staining technique which I'm okay with doing. Now it's time to put the trim around the doorway and the hallway, and I have to cut into a railing. Have I mentioned I've never done this before? I did make the conscious choice just to use a handsaw versus bringing out the electric sawzall. It was so much easier. And I'm using a small stock piece of trim molding to see if it fits, and I think it fits pretty darn good if you ask me. Now it's time that I remove the part of this molding that's around the stairway. I would like this trim piece to go all the way back. I don't want to have to cut into it. So I'm just checking out to see how much I have to take off. Now it's not far enough back, but I'm going to start by removing the old bullnose trim right here at the mitered corner. So what I'm going to do first is go in and just try to cut into the old layers and layers of paint just so that I can pry this off without damaging and pulling the paint off on the other piece that I will be keeping. I find taking projects like this on very empowering. Once this was all cleaned up, it was fine. I just had a little piece of molding I had to take off. This was the hardest part of the project. I'm going to save you from watching me embarrass myself. Back to the easy fun stuff. I'm going around with my nail set, just hammering in some of the nails that are still there and filling in some holes. And I do have a second layer of trim that I need to put up, but this is what happened. Truth be told, I purchased the wrong size trim, and right now I have some other priorities, and I will do that in the winter. But right now, I'm going to finish it off so it looks great. Have any of you painted something that you thought you would really love and then stand back and say, uh, no, I don't love it? Well, we decided we didn't like the white trim so what I'm going to do and what I'm doing here is I painted the trim all the iron gate from Benjamin Moore and I painted the walls simply white and I'm going to show you painting one of the walls in a moment but right now I am caulking in the seam of the wall where it was an inch smaller at the top than the bottom I hand cut some wood and I just have to fill it so I can paint it and it won't be seen. Once again, there'll be trim all around that and you won't see anything anyways, but I want it to look nice until I do get that second layer up. I thought I would just show how I painted this wall. 
I don't tape things in most cases. I just keep a damp rag with me so if I do touch something, I can quickly clean it up. Um, in this instance also, I usually would take off the lighting fixtures, but I was concerned the wiring would be similar to the wiring of the dining room fireplace. Um, it was old and very thick and hard to put back, and as of now, it is has been replaced by my electrician. I did not want to run into that with these. So I'm just painting here. This is the first coat of two. This was a, a primer paint, one coat paint, but now I needed two coats. While the first coat dries, I'm going in for some detail painting. I've already done all my edges twice, now it's just the walls will have to be done twice. Now it's time to put up the brackets and I have been dreading this. Most of the walls in this house are very hard. It has actually made grown men almost cry because they've broken power tools, saws, drills. It was a nightmare, but I got it done. Now I am getting ready to paint the square stock wood that I purchased to make my window treatment rods. I want them to look like metal oiled bronze and so I got my paint and I'm going to take care of these right now outside. Now as always I shake my spray paints very well, but when it comes to metallic paints I give it an extra go. I pretend I'm shaking a cocktail, I give it a quick spray so that there's no clogging of the nozzle, and I go back and forth with quick even layers. On a side note I forgot to mention that when I was putting the rods up to make sure they were center, I put a mark on the center of the rod and the center of the window frame and lined them up and then I had the exact same overhang on either side for me to then measure out for my brackets. I hope that made sense. This room took me a while and it took me a while to get this up on YouTube but I'm so glad it is now done and that I can share it with you. I wanted to show you that you can empower yourself to take on a project. And here's the thing, we could hire somebody to do this. I enjoy doing this and if it doesn't come out perfect, I'm okay with that because I know I gave it my all and it's done with love. <laughs>